Now, of course, in the wake of the new agreement between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, there are still many questions unanswered. IDF intelligence and strategic researcher and head of Palestinian Studies Forum at the Moshe Dayan Center of Tel Aviv University, Colonel Michael Milstein, is here to discuss. Colonel, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Now, all right, so first of all, what is the deal? Because we're hearing a lot of differing reports. Is this a normalization deal or a peace deal? Actually, it's a normalization deal because uh, a peace deal, it's between two, two states who has a conflict ongoing conflict between them and we in the UAE doesn't have any don't have any 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 conflict so it's a normalization actually uh, uh, a formal announcement about uh, hidden relations between the two states for about two decades all right but formally speaking there's not really much of a difference then that's right uh, okay. Except like the, functionally the, speaking, I should say. Yes, except the the, the uh, flights, the direct flights sure. uh, between uh, Tel Aviv and uh, Abu Dhabi and the UAE. Uh, this will be uh, much more easier than the, than the past. All right. Now you mentioned you said two decades. How yeah. how long is About, Israel? Uh, more than two decades. So uh, yeah, how how long has Israel and the UAE been dealing with each other, and and to what degree? Actually, the beginning of the, the these uh, hidden relations uh, began after 1993, after Oslo Agreement. Uh, it was a very gradual uh, uh, development, uh, very cautious and sometimes very clandestine, uh, focused on the military uh, and the diplomatic uh, uh, layers. And, but uh, during the last decade, it also developed to other aspects, such as the technologic, the uh, economical uh, aspect. And now it's, it's, fo it's fully formal uh, relations between the two states. All right, so you know, who, who are the winners and the so-called losers in this deal in the Middle East? Uh, absolutely, we can we can uh, we can say that the winners are all the what what we uh, define we call the uh, moderate Sunni uh, Sunni camp Saudi Arabia Egypt maybe Jordan and all of course all the all, all the Gulf states the uh, most prominent player who we can uh, define as a loser are the Palestinians because uh, seemingly they they achieved the end of the annexation threat over them. But actually, uh, they understand today that the old formula uh, that they had in the past uh, that uh, said we will not have any normalization, the Arab, the Arab world will not uh, have any normalization with Israel uh, unless first there will be a, a settlement between it's Israel and the Palestinians, long. it's over. Really? And uh, that, that's why the, the turmoil in the Palestinian arena is so deep. So are you know, how many other Arab states in the region are, because we've heard reports that Oman and Bahrain That's and other right. countries are thinking of joining. What is the likelihood of that happening in the near future? Uh, I believe that uh, during, the, uh, the, during the, this year, uh, we will see uh, the same announcements uh, as, uh, as, as they were between Israel and the UAE, uh, between Israel and Bahrain, maybe between Israel and Oman, uh, maybe between Israel and Morocco and, and northern Sudan. Sudan. Uh, but uh, at least uh, during the, the, uh, the, uh, this year, sure. I think we will not see any, any dramatic uh, step toward Saudi Arabia, toward North Africa. Uh, it will be much more difficult. All right, now, final question quickly. You know, I want to bring this back to, to Israel with Gaza, because That's right, right now you're, you mentioned that the Palestinians are feeling left behind. How, how might that affect the, you know, the conflict with Gaza right now? That's... Um, he, actually, it caused the, the people in Gaza, especially Hamas, to feel in much more uh, deeper, deeper crisis. And I believe that we are in, on the path of, of uh, much more dramatic uh, escalation uh, with Hamas. Uh, this is only the beginning of what we had during the last week, uh, unfortunately. Right. Colonel Milstein, thank you so much. Thank you.